today's video as you come online guys um please give the video a like and let me know where you are watching me from so as um indicated on the title of today's video i'm going to show you how you can ditch all these currency wars how to stop worrying about the current um uh, um, exchange rate issues that are going on so I was actually looking at the Kenya shilling for example and it is quickly um, losing value against the dollar and it is not just um, the dollar only same to um, the British pound same case to the euro so basically uh, most of the developing country and I use this word very loosely developing country currencies are losing against the major international currencies and a lot of people are like oh my god with this high cost of living how are we going to survive because remember when the let's say the kenya shilling loses value it affects the cost of prices but um there is a way you can go around it so as a resident of a developing country like kenya for example uganda ethiopia sudan whatever country you may be coming from it can be frustrating to see the value of your local currency decrease against major currencies like the US dollar, the British pound, the euro. So I was even checking this morning, um, as of the shooting of this video, one euro is equivalent to 141.12 Kenya shillings. Um, one dollar is equivalent to 130.9 Kenya shillings and one British pound is equivalent to 160. Um, Kenya shilling. So it can feel like your hard earned money is constantly losing value with inflation and all that, making it difficult to save for the future or to invest in your goals. So, but instead of worrying about the exchange rates, there are steps you can take to benefit from the opportunities that are presented by the internet economy. So the beauty about the internet economy is that it doesn't matter where you are um, if you do your work you're gonna get paid in foreign currency for example if you are a youtuber it doesn't matter what part of the world you are based in you're gonna get paid in euros for example um, if you sell stuff on Etsy for example you're gonna get paid in dollars through your PayPal so that's how it works and that's the easiest way to beat this fluctuation in exchange rates um, to beat this decrease of your local currency against the major currencies um, is by making sure that you're earning in that currency, making money in this major currencies. And um, the best part is that once you earn your money in the major currencies, when you exchange it in your um, local country, then you have more buying power. So for example, when somebody has just one Kenya shilling, you have one dollar or you have one euro, which is equivalent to 141 Kenya shillings, for example. So you don't um, necessarily feel the pressure of the decrease in value of your um, um, currency. So, for example, um, you can take advantage of the global reach of the Internet to find work or start a business that can generate income in foreign currency like the US dollar, British pound euro or other major currencies and you can offer different services so for example um some of the ones i'm going to share with you here are services that do not require any money from you do not require any upfront investment you do not need to learn any special skills skills like you can just come the way you are and start making money immediately so for example um you can um take advantage of uh, a platform such as italki um, you can sell products online to customers worldwide. So um, you can also create content on platforms such as YouTube and monetize it with ads or with sponsorships, or you can take advantage of Twitter's new paid subscription feature to make money from your tweets. So um, in addition to that, um, Elon Musk, who's currently the CEO of Twitter, has hinted at starting to and um, pay creators for creating videos on Twitter. So that is something you can consider as well. You can start creating content um, um, on Twitter so that by the time this feature is rolled, you're already finding a basis for yourself. Um, there is also the option on Twitter whereby um, they're gonna start allowing for long form content. For example, when you do a thread and there is advertisements in between your threads, Twitter is gonna start paying um, you for that. And also if um, there's You've noticed right now you can go and buy the blue tick for your Twitter account 
and Twitter is gonna be sharing that revenue with um, content creators. So um, if you have a talent for making handmade items or you can access handmade items from your home country and your country allows you to register on the Etsy.com platform, that is another feature you can take advantage of. So the best thing about Etsy is that clients are gonna pay you upfront and they're gonna pay you in foreign currency through your PayPal account. And um, once they have paid you, then you can ship the items to them. If your country does not allow you to register an Etsy.com account, then you can consider starting an online shop. For example, you can use the different social media such as Facebook. Um, you can get a Facebook shop, you can get an Instagram shop, or you can get one from Shopify, get a shop from Shopify, get a website. And then you can market yourself to a global audience using social media or even just taking advantage of Google Ads. But an easier, cheaper way is just to, um, you can do short videos like on YouTube Shorts. You can go to TikTok, which is very, very easy to go viral. Um, I've talked about it in some of my videos on the channel. You can take a look at that. And um, you can also um, take advantage of uh, WhatsApp groups. You can take advantage, advantage of WhatsApp statuses and just market your handmade items so these are things you can buy or make by yourself from your local country and then sell them at a premium to customers globally and of course they're gonna pay you in um, foreign currency um it's also impo important to focus on improving your financial literacy and understanding investment opportunities so many online resources are available that can help you learn about like your personal finance I'm investing and entrepreneurship. So these are things that are available. My favorite place to go is um, YouTube University because there's a lot, a lot of information and it's free. You can go and learn at um, what kind of investment opportunities are available to you um, that will allow you to earn in foreign currency. That should be the key, whatever you decide to do um you need to make sure that you can get paid in foreign currency because just by virtue of you living in again i use this word very loosely in a developing country you have the advantage of a lower cost of living so when you are earning in foreign currency just the exchange rate exchange rate alone is going to work in your favor and you will not feel the pressure so much and also if let's say you want to engage in other activities that are going to require the use of foreign currency, for example, if you want to travel abroad, they're going to um, charge the fees in US dollars or euros and the like. If you already have that money in foreign currency, then you're not going to have to suffer um, in the loss of value when you are buying the foreign currency. Another thing, especially for those who are interested in moving abroad, this is a better way of... Um, getting your money for uh, proof of funds because remember if let's say you want to immigrate to canada and you have to and you have to convert your um kenya shilling or your ghanaian cities to canadian dollar for example if you want to um, immigrate to the us let's say you win a green card and you need some money to go and help you as you start out there and you're gonna have to buy and use your Kenya shilling or uh, what I know, Nigerian Naira to go and buy um, US dollars. It's really, really expensive because, again, because of the loss in value of this other local currency. So um, by taking the steps and embracing the opportunities of the internet economy, you can, can take control of your financial future and create opportunities for yourself that are not limited by your local economic conditions. So guys, um, I hope this video was helpful to you. So instead of crying about um, the decreasing value of your local currency, doesn't matter if it's a Kenya shilling or a UG shilling or Tanzania shilling, um, Nigerian Lyra or a Turkish Lyra or I don't know, whatever currency you find yourself at, then um, you can say goodbye to the money worries and take advantage of the internet to change the game for yourself. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Um, please give it a like. Um, leave a sweet comment below. Let me know where you are watching me from and what are your thoughts about this subject of um, the current exchange rate and how our local currencies are decreasing in value. Thank you for staying to the end. I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.